Good morning, how are you today? I am just out and about having a little walk. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We stayed overnight last night. We've, well yesterday, we drove like three hours south. And we are currently in a place called L Lydiard Park. I don't really know how you say that. But we, we have, it's kind of near, near Swindon Bath in the UK. More, more Swindon, to be honest. But it's beautiful. The, the hotel is just in this, such like a nice, I can't really see it at the moment, but it's beautiful gardens or well, Lydiard Park, it's set in. And so we're here and I was just, um, I just woken up at like quarter to six and I'm by the, I was awoken by these horrendous birds. I don't even know what type of birds they were. They were very loud. And so I figured I would just get up and come for a little wander, a little walk and explore. I've seen already about, um, sorry, I was just distracted by what this, this thing was in the, uh, oh, I think it's a, it's like a play area. Look, there's, um, what's it called? It's like a bridge there. It was this that I saw, but like, what on earth is that thing? Whoa, that's cool. I assume you have to be like hooked up with wires and things. And you go walking along all these things in the treetops. That's awesome. Um, there's so many schools. I've been out for like two minutes <laughs> and I've seen about 10 schools everywhere. Plan for today, Stephen's back at home asleep, so I'm just gonna do this walk. And then I'm gonna have some breakfast at the hotel and then we are probably gonna have another little explore. Checkout is at 10, which I thought was really quite early to be honest. But um, we're gonna have another little explore around here. I'm gonna come out with Stephen. And then we've gotta be somewhere later on today, so we've got kinda of like the day. I'm gonna just explore really. I think we're potentially gonna to go to a National Trust place down here. Quite itchy eye, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a little look on the National Trust website. We became members of the National Trust a few weeks ago, and so it seems a good idea to try and find somewhere down here. This is something that I really, really do miss about travelling. It's just, like, I've got no idea where I am. I'm currently in the middle of some field somewhere. No clue, I'm just wandering. It's like literally my most favourite thing to do is to just, especially first thing in the morning, actually, just get up and just wander without any sort of clue where you are and just sort of see what's around and stuff. Absolutely love it so much. I think it's gonna be a glorious day. I've been reading in the news that the, um, oh, I love the British people, that our Met Office have been issuing <laughs> warnings to stay indoors because it's gonna be 30 degrees. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're so dramatic, but apparently, gonna be absolutely beautiful weather this week which is excellent because I'll tell you where we're going actually we are going on a house sit in Bournemouth which if you don't know England is right on the south coast the beach I've never been before but the beach looks beautiful just looks like a really nice place we're going for 10 days and later on today you'll meet who we're house sitting for but I'm really looking forward to it. It was because I kind of just booked it quite last minute because the only um, the only holiday we were kind of doing was uh, we're doing a, a week away at the end of August. And normally we like to get away a bit more than that. So I kind of found this last minute. I was like, yes, let's just do this. Just get away. Oh, look, they've got this little picnic area where there's barbecues to hire all around. Let's go. Cool. Look how wrecked our grass is though. This would normally be like a beautiful green lush grass because we've just had such hot weather. We've not had rain for, I don't even know, like two months or so. And so everywhere is just, where would normally be lovely and green, everywhere's just dead and yellow and horrible. Well, it's not horrible actually. It's just different. This is a beautiful spot, just by the water. And you can see the hotel or Lyd Lydyard house up in the distance there. Oh, there are some swans down there on the water. I'm going to walk across the bridge and go and see them. 
No! I walked round to where the swans were. I just swim it off. Look, here's one of the squirrels. Can you see him? Jumping along that wall. There's so many of them. Oh wow. Oh look, there's baby ones. Hello. Hello. Look, they're the babies. Why are they all standing underneath that tree? Is there a reason? Well, there must be a reason. I don't know why. Even the way we've had showers and things, we're gonna go and grab some breakfast. Is it orange? Yeah. Look at this. This is lovely for breakfast. Wow. Some fruit salad for starters. Stephen's just grabbing his. Don't know what he's getting. I think he's getting cereal first off. I am loading up with breakfast. I'm gonna stuff myself this morning with as much breakfast as I can eat. <laughs> are you? <laughs> We're all packed and we are checking out. Thank you. I know. Is it warm? Oh look, it's a beautiful day. We're off to see the horses yeah, but this morning. Oh, they've all gone over there this morning. When I was out, they were all underneath that tree there. All of those ones. They were all underneath this tree. Ah, oh, you can smell them. You can smell them. See if there's any friendly ones. Did he just fart? <laughs> oh, it was like a. a can't do that. Can you do it? <laughs> Hello. Zoom. Blank. How are you doing? Oh, there are loads of flies. It's because they've been pooing everywhere. It's their own fault. <laughs> you need like one area where they poo. The poo area, like, yeah. Go there. go and poo over there. See, we're down by the water. The, oh yeah, the swans are here. They were here this morning and then I walked round to come and see them, Stephen, and they ran. And they hadn't run. Swans don't run. They swam all the way to the other side. Oh look, there's a, uh, well they're not so much babies, but they were baby swans, see them? See? Where? Oh, yeah. Just by the edge there. They've grown up a bit now though. Baby ducklings, hello. <laughs> no, go away. Oh, and a bit, oh he just pooed. Yeah, that green stuff behind him is his poo. <laughs> Swans have just saw. I thought they were coming over to be nice to me, but I don't think they were. Stephen says he's being nasty and he kind of like growled at me. Not growl, whatever swans do. Protecting his babies. Okay, we have had a little wander around here. We are now getting in the car and heading over to the National Trust place that we're going to. It's further away than I thought it was, um, to be honest. It's a two hour drive, so I would definitely recommend this place though. Lyd Lydyard Parks is what it's called. It's really nice, like the hotel and just like the area, to be honest. Just wander around, it's beautiful. We're here at our National Trust place that we're coming to. Oh, look, just as soon as we pulled in. Whoa, look on the side. Hello, on that one. little baby, and lots of balls. Look at that one there, look how the flies on its face. Oh. oh, oh my goodness, it's covered in flies. We're in, we've gotten our tickets. You have to get, so there's a house here. This, basically, it's just like a fancy house that it would belong to the Banks family. I'm just kind of reading up on it. Or, um, I don't know what era it is, to be honest. Like 1600s, I feel like it was built. I think I've read something like it was built in 1600s. So we're gonna go and have our, we've got our tickets to go in the house, which is just behind me there. A little wander around the house and then like a wander around the gardens and stuff is our plan. Come on, we'll find some more shade. Is it too hot for you? No, yeah. oh, it's too hot for Stephen. We're gonna go and want, we were looking to see if they did, um, if you could hire bikes. We kind of wanted to hire a bike and bike round because the estate is like, there's just so much land, it's huge. But you can't hire a bike. I wish you could hire a bike as well, that's a shame. We can't hire a bike, so. Never mind. I'm gonna go and find the gardens. We've got like half an hour before we can go into the house. Okay, 
gardens. Do you want woodland walk or gardens? I think let's do woodland walk first because I think we'll be longer in the gardens. We've only got half an hour. Play area this way. Yes! We're not impressed with this woodland walk. There's not really very many. In fact, it's not a woodland walk at all. Maybe it, t maybe it turns into more woody. This is like, it's a field walk. Can you hear that noise as well? Look at all of this. Um, yellow <laughs> nurse. This should be lush green grass. It's so crazy. Oh, look, that one little bit. It's like, <gasps> I will live. So one little bit of green grass. The rest of it. The rest of it's just like, yeah. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, look at the house in this way. How nice does it look? We should probably, we'll head back. Have a little wander inside. Yeah, we'll sort of just slowly head back. Yeah, not home. Head back to the house. Oh, my plan was to just get across here to the house. But, oh no, we can. We could climb up there. Look at these cannons. I don't mind. Are you going to come? Yeah. I wonder if, I bet there's normally water in there, right? Like a little moat. Um, okay. Let's get across here then. It's only a bit of grass. Ah, it's tickling my legs. Okay, yes. Told you I could get up. You think I'm useless? You are. Yes. <laughs> anyway, there. Look, there's an Egyptian guy, I think, over here. There's um, apparently inside this house that is the largest, U uh, largest private. So, uh, largest private collection of Egyptian stuff. Yes. What? A mummy. Is that what they're called? Here he is. It's a bit of a random spot for him, isn't it? Doesn't say anything about what it is. Oh, I was I just did a big blow, but I thought it was something horrible. It's a ladybird. It's got a million spots on it. I've not seen a ladybird for ages. He's like, no, I like Sarah. I don't want to go. Oh. oh, 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 he's on your top. Oh, oh, he's on my top. He likes me best. He likes me best. Okay, do you want to come off now, mister? Get him. <laughs> he's like, no way. Nice gardens. I think this is the house. We're going to go into the house now. It's time. What are you looking at? The V. That's okay. Welcome to the home of the Banks family. Stephen won't go in yet because it's 1.26 and our ticket is at half past one. You want to sit there? Sit here for a minute in the cool. We're now in the house. Look at this fireplace. It's pretty epic. Yards north of this building, and then it's between 62 and 63. She's going to come in downstairs. That was a bit of a Wow, this is a big room. Okay, we'll go this way. This is oh, a state bedroom. ceiling. Oh, I thought this was a piano. It's a writing table. Mm. Up the stairs. Oh, look at the ceiling again, Stephen. The ceilings are always like the most impressive, I think, in these buildings. How impressive is this stairway? Look at it. Very impressive. Oh, oh yeah, here's the Egyptian room. <sighs> a virtual tour. Why would you take a virtual tour when you can have an actual tour? Just because. <laughs> We're finished in the house, 
both very thirsty, but Stephen is hungry as well. He was supposed to fill up on breakfast. <laughs> he didn't fill up though. So it was supposed to last him all the way till tea, but it hasn't done so. I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Right, we're back in the car. We're gonna grab food and just mooch around a little bit because we can't be at the, I don't know if I said this, we can't be at the house sitting until half past six this evening. So, depending on if we do anything exciting or not, I'll probably see you when we arrive at the house sit. We have arrived at our house sit and these are the little monsters that we are going to be looking after for the next few days. I'm still learning their names. They've got names there, but we've got... Can't remember what they're called. Can you remember anyone, Stephen? Louis. Louis. And Twiggy. And Twiggy. And Woody. Oh, Stephen can remember them all. He's so, so much better. So we've got these three and we've got another one somewhere in the garden. But I don't know. I don't know where he, he or she has gone at the moment. The house is, unfortunately, the hot tub is not working. That would have been nice. How nice would that have been? No. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, Absolutely hot tub. Boiling. Okay, yeah, but okay. Okay. No, um, no house is wonderful. Um, oh, my God. So nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna end it here because we're just gonna it's quite late to be honest. I say late, but it's like almost eight o'clock ish, so we're just gonna sort of chill out for the evening. It's been a long sort of two days driving and things. I have already made a little friend here that's following me around. It's gonna be cool. I'm really looking forward to it. We are staying here for quite a while and um Lara's coming over to join us at the weekend, I think, or maybe just before the weekend, I'm not entirely sure when she's coming to join us at the moment, but uh, she will figure it out, I'm sure, and let me know. But it's crazy, like that room is just like the little bit of the middle house, and then there's all this like other side of the house, but I I'm not gonna do like a house tour, I don't like doing things like that, because like, it's not my house, is it? So I won't, you'll just kind of see it in the background um, as, the, uh, as the vlogs continue. But thank you so much for watching today. We had a really nice day. Really looking forward to, I would say, the next week or so that we're staying here. I will see you tomorrow where I think it's going to be a glorious day and we may, may go and check out the beach. We're not sure yet, but uh, yeah, make sure you watch tomorrow's vlog to find out what we do go up to. I will see you then. Bye.